everybody, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm here once again as your host, and you guys all know that everything out there on the internet now is what you're watching. Everything you're doing is downloading. Pretty much the internet rules our life. And I've been trying to use my PlayStation 3 lately, and it's just totally not working for me. I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm not able to watch my TV shows and stuff on it. So I decided, well, I used to really like the old first generation Apple TV. I really like this thing a lot. It has great interface options, it's small, it offers the perfect connectivity. Now, the only problem is though, this thing only does 720. So I was just like, you know what? Man, if the PlayStation isn't working, I'm gonna go out and I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in and get the second generation new Apple 1080p TV. So I've got this little bad boy here and I'm gonna do the unboxing. And if any of you folks out there have ever used this before, then really the greatest thing about this, I feel, it's its interface. I mean, it's just so easy to use. Everything's laid out very nicely. The remote's simple, and it's not very big either. It'll sit on top of any other thing you've got out there. So here's the front of the box. Show you guys just the quick back of the box. Your connectivity. Go ahead and pop this out. Get it out of the box, nothing there. So here we go. So. Here's the remote. It's the exact same thing as the first generation remote. I don't think there's any difference in it whatsoever. It looks identical. Maybe a little longer though. I'm thinking it does look a little longer. So that's really about all there is with that. So move that off. Here's the little accessories package. All that comes in is a setup guide. Let me get this out of the bottom down here. So we have the setup guide, the power cable, the unit itself, on the front, let me go ahead and just remove all this stuff off of it. So here in the front, we can see the little bitten out piece of the apple. There's a little tab here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this tab as well. I don't know why there's a big black tab around the entire thing, but there is. So I'm gonna totally take that off there. What the heck? I will tape the cameraman up with it. There he goes. He really loves this shit, let me tell you. All right, so here's the back. Power, HDMI, audio, SPDIF, and you hook it up to the internet right there. Pretty simple stuff, folks. That's everything that comes in the box. Like I said, if anybody out there has ever used one of those, let me hear your opinions in the section below in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. You guys know I totally appreciate that. If you've missed anything going on, just make sure to look in the comments below, and I love to hear your comments here on Tech of Tomorrow.